The princess, uh, the reason we invited you to lunch is that Tiffany and I want to give you and Frisco a wedding. Yes. All the trimmings. Absolutely. The biggest wedding you've ever had. Maybe a big church wedding or wherever you want it with the limousines and the champagne flowing and the caviar. No, the I, it's well, wonderful. Well, you've got to love it. We thought you'd like the idea. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think it's a wonderful idea, and I appreciate the offer. But I hear a but in there. What is this? What? Frisco and I have decided to do something different. What do you mean, something different? We're going to keep it very simple. It's just going to be a renewal of our vows to one another. This is probably a rotten time to bring this up, but mm -hmm. does Colton know that you and Frisco are getting married again? I don't think so, but I'm sure he wouldn't be surprised about it. Mm-hmm. Well, since we're discussing Colton, I was hoping maybe I could get an interview with him about his ordeal with Olivia, you know? yellow journalism. Right? It's human interest. What are you talking about, yellow journalism? Everybody would be interested in knowing about this. I don't know how he's going to react when you ask him about it. Well, how do you think I should approach him on it? I don't really know. He's just changed so much since I've known him. And I thought you two buried the hatchet. Mm-hmm, we did. Well, it seems to me he's accepted the situation or he wouldn't be standing for Charles. Well, I think he finally realized that he has friends of his own here. Yeah, if it is true, if he does decide to stay, I wonder if it's because of Olivia Jerome. Are you sure it's and I knew it? Well, did you, uh, enjoy the hotel? Ah, uh, more than I ever hoped for. How about you? I got more than I hoped for. Lewis, bring in that report. That's right. The autop. That's the same. That right. Bye bye. What is it? We got a connection. What? Two murder victims who used the same aftershave lotion that smelled of witch hazel shortly before they died. Witch hazel. Back to the autopsy reports. Mm. I didn't say it was a lead pipe cinch, but by hell, it sure is interesting. I mean, why would Tucker and why would McAllister both use the same lotion? I mean, are we talking about correlation or coincidence? Yeah, we'll try this on for size. I went up and down that poor Charles Hotel. I searched everything. You know what I found? Jimmy O'Harely. What was he doing there? Oh, just giving his charming smile to everyone. Did you book him for loitering? Well, I certainly thought about it. What was his story? Well, it turns out that he was there to meet somebody for lunch. They didn't show up, so we split. Maybe you made him nervous. I definitely made him nervous. But what the hell was he doing there? Hmm. She said you wanted this? Thanks, Joe. Now, the witch hazel bit lends a little bit of intrigue to this. Certainly, the act of personal hygiene. I mean, what can I say about Albany that hasn't been said a thousand times in the past? Hmm? Well, you could tell me where you went, what you did, and who you talk to. Oh, do I have to do that? I felt terrible that you weren't there for the whole lunch. Did you take care of everything for me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You better be available around midnight tonight. Why is that? Well, I have big plans for us. Really? Mm-hmm. Have anything to do with this stuff? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. We better get out of here and... Give him some privacy. Well, according to Tucker's secretary, um, she said that he smelled of witch hazel in the aftershave that uh, he was wearing. You already know that McAllister was wearing something with the same scent before he died. What does witch hazel have anything to do with murder? At this moment, I've no idea. At least I'm grateful that Jimmy is uh, completely in the clear. How'd you arrive at that conclusion? Well, you said yourself that he had an ironclad alibi for the day that Tucker was murdered. I said we confirmed that he was in Atlantic City. If he was in Atlantic City, then he couldn't have murdered Tucker. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how much I just love your basic sense of logic? Hmm? Oh, no, but you have my complete undivided attention. Look, Cookie, I love you madly, but could we possibly discuss this later. All right, just don't forget, tonight is a very, very special night for us. Look, I forget a lot of things, but tonight won't be one of them. I intend to wrap this up early, go home, shave, um, shower, maybe not in that order. Great. Great, because I want my man to look incredible tonight. And, um, could you just stop by here 
you first. Why? I just want to make sure that you're still in one piece. Kate, this isn't a recording you listen to. I'm fine, believe please, it. Just, just humor me, Robert, please. Just come by and see me. Tanganeva really did a job on your mind, didn't he? of order.